there's this very nice story called The Great Automatic Grammatizator by Roald Dahl. Uh, most of you are familiar with Roald Dahl from Charlie and the Chocolate Factory and, uh, and related stories. He wrote children's stories. He also wrote adult stories. And this is one of the stories. This is about a mechanically minded man who reasons that the rules of grammar are fixed by certain almost mathematical principles. So by exploiting this idea, he creates a mammoth machine that can write a prize-winning novel in roughly 15 minutes, where he just punches in a bunch of themes, hits a button, and it publishes the novel, and then he puts authors out of business. So if you go to the next slide, here is the question. Is this, is the machine by itself AI? Yes, it's artificial intelligence. You have this machine, someone fed in a whole bunch of rules, and now when you give it an input, it works on all of the rules and it produces an output. That is a fixed instantiator. It has not observed any data. This is something that was built, that, that, that was kind of monolithically built. And so it's AI, but it's not machine learning. But now suppose the same machine were to print books, these books go into the bookstore and some make it to the bestseller list and some don't. It takes feedback from this and updates its rules to say, you know, what is a better thing to do and what is a worse thing to do. Now it's learning from data. Now this becomes a machine learning system. So a machine learning system is a system that, that learns from data to power artificial intelligence, but artificial intelligence itself is the larger concept. Now, what is deep learning over here? Deep learning is one of the ways in which you can learn from data to make appropriate inferences. So deep learning is one of the many machine learning techniques and arguably currently the, the most successful machine learning technique in the world today.